In 3D Coat 2021, you have a new group of trim or flattening brushes available in surface mode when you are sculpting in the sculpt workspace. Let me go ahead and click on Trim Adaptive. You may have recognized flatten and chisel from previous versions of 3D Coat, but you also happen to have a flat polish and trim adaptive. So let me zoom in on the head and I'll isolate it. I'll hover over it and then hit the H key and it will automatically select it. I'll now hold down the Alt key and click on the visibility icon and that will isolate it. To make everything reappear, I'll just do the same thing by holding down the Alt key and click on the same icon. Let's say I want to trim some of this away or flatten it. Again, I can use one of these brushes. In the Tool Options panel, you'll notice with the new brush engine that you can toggle the effects to see exactly what modifier was applied to it. You can use the current brush alpha that you have selected in the brushes palette, or you can use the default option. And hit OK. So let's trim here on the corner. And this brush draw mode is pressure sensitive. So the harder you press down, the more intense it will be. But you can adjust the degree here as well. And keep in mind, if you go to the modifier section, you can check show overall degree. And that way, when you click hide brush parameters, you can just adjust the degree here instead of having to have everything open. Let's now look at Flatten. Again, these are all very similar, but they're just slightly different in one way or another. So Flatten really is a trim brush in its own right. So you can see it's a little bit more aggressive. And Trim Adaptive is very similar. It's just a little more nuanced, a little more subtle. This is actually quite similar also to Chisel, which is even more aggressive as the tooltip indicates. It's going to create much more crisp edges. As you can see there. I'll now switch to Flat Polish. It's best to just experiment with these and see which one fits your preferences best in a given situation. You can apply other modifiers and then create your own type of polishing brush. For example, with this one, this flat polish, I may actually add a relax modifier set right here at the bottom. Let me try that out and see. I can see it's a little bit sharp, so I'm going to reduce the flattening degree. And I may also want to adjust the plane offset Make that just a singular value and bring it down to a very small number. We'll cover plane offset in greater detail in another video, but in a nutshell, it just allows the user to set the position of the center of your brush either above the initial vertex position or beneath it according to the values you specify. I want to hold down the shift key and smooth that a bit. I might want to take the relaxed degree down a bit. Let's bring the degree of the flattening back up. Okay, that's a little bit too aggressive. Let me undo. For now, I'll disable plain offset. And if I'm happy with that, I can right click on the tool and choose to duplicate. When I do that, it's going to allow me to change the name. So I'll type in soft space polish. 
it's placed this new entry into the custom section. So I'll go to flat polish and it keeps the same parameters as I just created. However, if I want to go back to the default, I could either change it manually by deleting this relax modifier and going back to the adjustments that I had, or I can right click and choose restore default. When I go back to effects, I can see that relax modifier is no longer there and the original settings are intact. And that will conclude this look at the flattening slash trim brushes that are new to 3D Coat 2021. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.